Hey everybody, I'm Ryan and you're watching 60 Cycle Hum. Today I'm gonna have some fun running my iPhone into the True Spring by Source Audio. It comes with this handy dandy little cable. You connect it to your standard iPhone or smartphone adapter plug here if it needs it. Otherwise there is a 3.5 millimeter jack there. You plug one side into the second stereo in of the pedal and the other side into your phone, obviously, and then you open up the software from Source Audio. The app, as uh, people tend to call these things. Adjust my uh, devices here in the screen. So anyways, once you open it up, you see that you can access all kinds of different products from Source Audio. Of course, you select the one that you're actually gonna use. Turn the pedal on. That's how it sounds right now. Uh, let's start getting into some crazy settings on this thing. Uh, it has all the controls that you have on the face of the pedal, as well as a bunch of other controls that you obviously don't. Uh, I like to start with the spring engine selector here. There's the standards that you can access on the top of the pedal, short, long, and tank. And then you get into stuff like tiny tank, which is a cute little tank emulation. <laughs> Triple spring. Space string for uh, some weirder stuff. Drip machine. Hall S, whatever that means. Crash can spring. That's pretty interesting. And then, of course, uh, some Ventress settings from their Ventress pedal, the True Spring setting. and the Ventress outboard, which is what uh, sparked the, uh, the creation of this pedal, is their outboard spring setting for the Ventress. Let's see how that varies from the tank setting. brighter, a little spl splashier than the tank setting on the True Spring. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of personal preference there to figure out. Let's go back to the regular tank setting for the time being. Load the factory default settings for that. Turn the guitar back up. Let's start going through some of the sliders. I mean, things like mix, level, dwell, and tone are all on the front of the pedal, so we won't mess with those too much. I will say that I like to dime the tone and pull the bass out. You don't have bass on the front of the pedal. The 
you're going for a brighter, thinner sound, is closer to a uh, Fender 6G15 style emulation. Of course, the True Spring and the Ventress give you the ability to create drippy sounds outside of what's available in tube units, which is honestly part of the attraction, in my opinion. So you can come up with a drippy reverb that's got a lot more low end than what is typically av available. You've got a time control here. Time's pretty low there. Right around there is probably where I'd like to set it. Maybe a little bit more time. Probably right in the middle is good for me. So then you can select spring engine size, extra small, regular small, that was medium large extra large you're getting crazy And engine custom, which is what it was on. Which honestly, I think I prefer. I mean, doing what you want is what this is all about, but I like that engine custom. I never touch pre delay for drippy sounds. I like it to be all the way down so that the drip directly chases your playing and doesn't have a, a delay between the drip and your and your note but it's there for people who want to dial in like a rockabilly sound. So diffusion turned all the way up. It kind of spreads out the reflections of the reverb. It turned all the way down. It's a tighter, drippier drip rather than a splash in the room, I suppose you'd say. A useful thing to have. Once again, I like to keep that turned all the way down to really milk that drippy sound. Now you're starting to get into stuff that you didn't know even existed on the face of this pedal. You've got modulation in here. We'll turn it all the way up with the rate somewhere in the middle.
I'm typically not gonna favor that sound, but it is nice to dial in just a little bit of modulation just to fill it out every now and then. Now you can get into some specific settings with the tremolo that is built in. We'll throw it on optical, throw some depth on there. There's a stereo offset here. I don't know if it's doing a stereo thing. I'm plugged out stereo. But I don't know if I need to be plugged in stereo, meaning having another stereo effect coming into it. I'll try thinking hard to the left again on there. I guess I won't really know until I'm in post to hear if there's a big difference there because I don't hear it in the room even though I have two amps here. Uh, and then you start getting into all the crazy controls where you can swap out functions of knobs, uh, you can assign different things to external controllers, MIDI, all sorts of stuff. The sky is the limit. All sorts of complicated things that I frankly don't understand because I've never messed around with MIDI. Uh, other than that, now that I've built this patch, I can burn it, I suppose. Oh, no, burning is to burn it to a, uh, as a preset to one of the toggles here. What I want to do is go to file menu and then save and we'll call it True Spring demo video and continue. This is riveting stuff right here, guys. So now I've saved it. I can go to File Menu, Browse Sounds. There it is. And I think there's a way. Oh, I can publish it. I'll just press publish. And now it's published to the online library that you can access through the app here. Look, it's already here in the menu. Uh, one of my earlier ones is down at the bottom. I saved the first preset before anyone else was able to get here and do anything. Uh, so there it is, the, uh, the true spring as connected through the app on the iPhone, lots of fun stuff you can do. I barely scratched the surface. You can build all sorts of crazy sounds with this app. Storm to your pedal, storm to your phone, storm to the whole internet so other people can use them. It's pretty easy, no brainer. There's no you know magic beaming technology to get it on there. Just a cable that plugs directly in. Uh, it's hard to mess up. I've used it a bunch of times already and had zero glitching, zero you know file loss or anything like that. And you can always reset things to default pretty easy too. I think it's a winner. They've done a great job building out the, uh, the app to support this pedal and their other pedals as well. I'll use this with the Ventress when I'm using the Ventress or want to set up something special with that. <laughs> I recommend it. Uh, stay tuned guys. I'm going to do another video with this soon where I compare it to another pedal that I think is at the top of the list for drippy reverbs, uh, the Ocean's 11. So stay tuned for that. Maybe that'll be sometime this week or next week. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support me on Patreon. Buy a shirt. Visit an Amazon affiliate link if I have it down there. And do all that stuff. I'm trying to put diapers on my baby. <laughs> Later, guys.